this morning it's an opportunity to be glad and to rejoice because you had an opportunity to come before the king of kings and the lord of lords hallelujah so god we just give you thanks this morning for the bible says that we are to enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise and to be thankful unto him and bless his name because we can declare that the Lord is good. Hallelujah. How many can you say that the Lord is good? And his mercy is everlasting. The Bible says, and his truth endureth to all generations. Hallelujah. So now my generation can declare the goodness of the Lord to those below me. Hallelujah. As my mother and my fathers above me declared the truth and the goodness of the Lord to me. Hallelujah. We talked about experience this morning. I experienced the Lord for myself. Hallelujah. And I can say that he is good. Hallelujah. I can decree and declare even though the book of Numbers say that God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. He said, if I said it, will not do it. How many times the Lord has fulfilled his word to you and did it for you in your life? Hallelujah. So we thank the Lord, hallelujah, for all he has done and all the things he has rendered unto us. Hallelujah. Well, my name is Les, and I'll be your pulpit conductor for today. And I want to welcome you to Center of Attraction, where Jesus is the center of it all. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, wow. We got some other voiceovers here, and that's okay. Hallelujah. Because it's a good thing if you can make six figures from home. My God, that would be a true blessing from the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> we just want to make sure that it's a righteous six figures. My God. And a holy six figures. My God. And you could bless a lot of people with that kind of income. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Well, once again, my name is Les, and I'll be your pulpit conductor for today. Uh, if we could all stand as we do our vision in our mission statement. Our vision is to be the best training and evangelistic center in the world. Our mission, 
center of attraction exists for the purpose of glorifying the name of Jesus through worship, Christian discipline, and the proclaiming of the gospel. The place. COA is a place where Jesus is center of attraction, providing relevant solutions for modern day challenges. COA is growing, giving, spiritual, multicultural, loving, community and kingdom active, changing lives one person at a time. COA is apostolic, prophetic, and empowered by the anointing of God. And what did Jesus say in John 12 and 32? And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. So let's lift up Jesus today. Hallelujah. Jesus, we lift up your holy name because even though that right there was talking about him being lifted up on the cross, he had to be lifted in order to reign forevermore. Hallelujah. He said, despising the shame, hallelujah, enduring the pain of the cross, hallelujah, Jesus was lifted up. And when he rose on the third day, he said, now all power and authority has been given unto me, hallelujah. He has the keys to death, hell, and the grave, hallelujah. So now at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of the Father. My God. So, Jesus, we thank you, hallelujah, for going through the process. Hallelujah. You said, not my will, but thy will be done. Hallelujah. So, we give you glory today for the things you have done. Today's scripture is going to come from uh, Psalms 96. And the Bible reads... Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord and bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. That's a beautiful statement right there. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give unto the Lord, O you kindreds of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth. The world also shall be established that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar in the fullness thereof. Let the fields be joyful in all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice before the Lord, for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the people of his truth. Hallelujah. So God, we know that the earth shall rejoice and the sea will roar. But today, God, we would declare that we will sing a new song unto you. Hallelujah. That we will praise your holy name. Hallelujah. We won't let a rock cry out on our behalf, my God. We won't let the trees outwave us this morning, my God. We won't let the animals sing your praises without us being a part of it. So God, we just decree and declare that your presence will be in this place that we will sacrifice our praise and give you what is due and what is owed to you. And that's your glory and your strength this morning, God. And so, God, we thank you. We give you glory and honor, God. We, allow, we ask that you allow your heaven to touch our earth this morning, God. Let us enter into the worship that continuously go on in heaven, God. Let us be a part of that and accept our praise. This should be holy and acceptable unto you, God. We give you honor and glory. In Jesus' mighty matchless name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 
At this time, we're going to ask the praise team to come forward as we render to the Lord was due his holy name. We're going to worship him in the beauty of holiness. We're going to ask that you use your 10 string instruments and clap your hands before the Lord. It's okay in this place to dance. If you want to dance and march around, we have flags. Hallelujah. So we want you to worship the Lord. Be free to give what's due to him. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I done heard about five people, and I see more than five people up in here. Let's try that again. Hallelujah. 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 All right. I think we could do that a whole lot better. Look, it's been a long week for everybody. We just got off work. We still tired. Amen. We didn't work that third shift last night, and we're just giving the rest to God. So I'm going to ask y'all to walk by faith Amen. and not by sight Amen. and move with the Holy Spirit because yes. he is your strength. Amen. Amen. Do we believe that his blood still works? Amen. Amen. You believe that his blood is coursing Amen. through your veins, strengthening you to walk in here and to give him some praise. Amen. Amen. So with that being said, I dare you to open up your mouth even a lot and sing a little lot and say, Hallelujah! 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 The just shall sing the Hallelujah! 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 That's a little better. Hallelujah! We're going to start out with our anthem of faith. The just shall live. The just shall live by faith. The just shall live. The just shall live by faith. Help me see. The just shall live. The just shall live. Just shall live by faith. Just shall live. Just shall live. Just shall live by faith. Just shall live. Just shall live. Just shall live by faith. Just shall live. Just shall live by faith. Just shall live, just shall live by faith. My God says live, I will not die. This is my right, this is my right. Cause we've been purchased, cause we've been purchased by the blood, sickness and disease. All infirmities, all infirmities. You have to leave. Cause we've been covered in the blood. Cause we've been covered in the blood. Here we go. Here we go. The judge shall live. The judge shall live. The judge shall live by faith. The judge. The judge shall live. The just shall live by faith. The just shall live. The just shall live. Oh, the just shall live. The just shall live by faith. My God says, Live. I will not die. This is my right. This is my right. Because we've been purchased. Because we've been purchased by the blood, sickness, sickness and disease. All the all infirmity, you have to leave. You have to leave. Cause we've been covered. Cause we've been covered Come in on. the blood. The just shall live. The just, the just shall live. The just shall live by faith. The just, the just shall live. The just. The just shall live by faith. The just shall live. The just shall live. The just shall live by faith. My God says, Live. I will not die. This is my right. We've been purchased. Because we've been purchased by the blood, sickness, and disease. All the poverty. All infirmity, you have to leave. You have to leave. Cause we've been covered in. We've been covered in the blood. I'm 
You say, why are we singing this song all the time? We've been hit below the belt here in this ministry with passings of iconic people in our ministry. And so we come against any spirit of heaviness that will want to rest upon us. And so we're declaring through song, no matter our experience, our faith marches on. And we declare today, we're going to live and not die. We're going to live large. We're going to live for Jesus. No matter the experience, no matter the pain, no matter the suffering, no matter what we face on a daily basis, declare with this song, we're going to live and not die. Do you believe that today? Say it. We're going to live and not die. Yeah. We're going to live and not die. Oh, we're going to live and not die. We will declare. Declare. Come on, declare. Yes, Live and I die. We will declare, yeah. declare His goodness, His goodness. Live and I die. Oh, we're gonna live and I die. Oh, we're gonna live and I die. We will declare, declare, declare His every goodness, day this week. His goodness. Oh, 
everybody listen it's imperative and important that we live and that we don't allow even the shadow of death to impress upon us that which doesn't belong to us our inheritance comes from Jesus Christ when the sisters came to Jesus and said if you would have been here my God my brother would not have died. Who said that Jesus was no other place but with you? For he said, I will always be with you. Even to the end of you, I will be with you. Say with me, God is with me. God is with me. And he has not forsaken me. He has not forsaken me. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. And so we will not permit or allow death to take us out. Death is defined as the cessation of life. I'm looking around here and you look pretty lively to me. Hallelujah. So we're going to live past the pain, past the death the experiences that wants to keep us down. Somebody declare, I'm going to live. I'm going to live. I'm going to live. Yes, I'm gonna I am. Live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you're going to have to live in faith. You're going to have to live in obedience. You're going to have to live in joy. You're going to have to live in love because we don't smile enough. We don't laugh enough. We don't have fun enough. We're not happy enough. We act like there's no Jesus in us. But I don't know about you. I'm going to live. Listen who's talking to you right now. I said I'm going to live. And I'm going to live because God wants me to live. And you're going to live because God wants you to live. I'm living large. Say that. I'm living large. I'm living large. God bless you. We move on to the next song. I just want to make sure y'all get the understanding of this is our mantra song. And I told the floor every time you hit them keys, and he looked at me a little strange the other day. And I said, this Sunday? I said, boy, every Sunday, every time you hit those keys, you play this because we driving darkness out of this place. We ain't accepting no kind of darkness here. Come on now, people of God. Amen now. Hey, yeah, yeah. We're going to live, hallelujah, the way Christ Jesus wants us to live. So the story continues. I believe in the resurrection one day. Jesus says to the, to the sister, don't you know I am the resurrection and the life? So as Jesus speaks to the tomb and speaks particularly to Lazarus to come forth, and he said, Lazarus, come forth. I'm declaring over you. I'm speaking over your life right now. And I'm calling you forth. I'm telling you, come forth now. Say, I will come forth now. I will come forth now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm coming out of my darkness. I'm coming out of my darkness. And I'm entering into my light. I'm entering into my light. My glorious light. My glorious light. From this day forward. From this day forward. I will live only. And I will not walk in the shadow of death. For I will fear no evil. For your rod and your staff comforts me. Hallelujah. Give him a hallelujah. I said give him a hallelujah. Give him a hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Come on and praise his holy name. We're going to live. We're gonna live and not die. Oh, come on and praise him now. Live and not die. Oh, we're gonna 
we're going to live and not die. We will declare, declare his goodness, his goodness, live and not die. Oh, we're going to live and not die. Oh, we're going to live and not die. I will declare, declare his goodness, his goodness, live and not die. Your word. 
God is a man of his word. Come on, let's sing about that. Hey, here we go. Come on, clap your hands, somebody. Hey, we're going to bounce on that devil's head today. We're going to let her know that my God says it. I'm going to believe it. All things are possible. Hey, when we believe, all chains are breakable. When we receive Yahweh, you make your promises. Hey, if you said it, we believe it. If you said it, if you said it, we believe it. Hey, whoa, oh, oh, oh. if you said it, we believe it. You're a man, you're a man. Hey. If you said it, if, if you, you said, said it, it, we believe it. it. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. If, if you, you said it, it, we believe it. it. You're a man. You're a man of your word. Listen to this. <laughs> All things are possible. Yes, hey, when we believe, all chains are breakable. Hey, when we receive Yahweh. Yeah. You make your promises. Yes. If you said it, we believe it. If you said it, hey. If, if you, you said, said it, we believe it. it. Hey, hey. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. If you said it, we believe it. You're a man. Cause you're a man of your word. If you said it, we believe it. Yeah. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. If you said it, we believe it. You're a man. You're a man of your if you word. It, if you, you said, said it, we believe it. it. Come on, y'all, help us sing it. Oh, 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 oh. If you said it, we believe it. You're a man. You're a man of your word. word. If you said it, we believe it. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. If you said it, we believe it. Cause you're a man. You're a man of your word. Watch this. Hey. We have this confidence. Yeah. You finished what you started. God, you have never failed. You won't start with me. You're present in every step. You're patient in every heartache. Because God, you have never failed. You won't start with me. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Can you clap your hands right there? If you said it, if, if you, you said, said it, we believe it. Hey, hey, I say a whoa, oh, oh, oh. If you said it, we believe it. Cause you're a man, cause you're a man of your word. If you said it, we believe it. Yeah, whoa, oh, oh, oh. If you said it, if you said it, we believe it. You're a man, cause you're a man of your word. If you said it, we believe it. Oh, oh. If you said it, we believe it. You're a man. Cause you're a man of your word. We have this confidence. We have this confidence. You finish what you started. God, you have never failed. You won't start with me. Present in every step. Patient in every heartache. God, you have never failed. You won't start with me. 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 This is my season. This is my season. This is my year. This is my year. This is my season. This is my year. This is my season. This is my year. 
This is my season. This is my year. Hey, cause he said it. Hey, if you said it, we believe it. Hey, do you believe it? Oh, oh, oh. If you said it, if you said it, we believe it. Cause you're a man. Cause you're a man of your you word. It. If you said it, we believe it. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. If you said it, we believe it. Hey, you're a man. You're a man. Hey, of your word. It, if you said it, we believe it. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. If you said it, we believe it. You're a man. You're a man of your word. You're a man of your word. Say, you're a man of your word. You're a man of your word. Say, you're a man of your word. 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 You're a man. Of your word, say you're a man of your word. You're a man of your word, say you're a man of your word. Hey, hey, I am what you say I am. Hey, I am what you say I am. I am what you say I am. Hey, I am what you say I am. Help me say, I am what you say I am. I am. I am what you say I am. I am say I am what you say I am. What you say? I am what you say I am. What you say? I am what you say I am. What you say? I am what you say I am. I am what you say I am. What you say? I am what you say I am. What you say? I am what you say I am. What you say? I am what you say I am. What you say? I am what you say I am. What you say? I am. What you say I am? What you say I am? What you say I am? Yes, I am. I am what you say I am. Yes, I'm rich. I am what you say I am. Yes, I'm healed. I am what you say I am. Yes, I'm delivered. I am what you say I am. Yes, I am free. I am what you say I am. What you say I am? What you say I am? That is my confidence. I am what you say I am. What you say I am? What you say I am? Got those hands, somebody. Clap those hands, somebody. This ain't about the music. This is about the words that you're singing. Because if he says that you are healed, if he says you shall live and not die, that's what he said. And his word should not fall on deaf ears. Amen? Is that not the word? So if he says you're going to live and not die, you better believe it. Amen, somebody. I'm going to live and not die. I'm going to live, not die. He turned it around for me. I said, He turned it around for me. I said, He turned it around for me. I said, He turned it around for me. Hey, and around, 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 and around. And around, 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 around, and 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 it's working and around and around and around and around and around it's working it's work 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 it
good, for my 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 good, if you said we believe it, hey, hey, whoa, oh, 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 oh. If you said it, we believe it. Cause you're a man. Cause you're a man of if your you word. It, if you said it, we believe it. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. If you said it, we believe it. Cause you're a man. Cause you're a man of your word. You're a man of your words. You're a man of your words. Thank you, Lord. Because I have this confidence. You finished what you started. God, you have never failed. You won't start with me. You're present in every step. You're patient in every heartache. God, you have never failed. You won't start with me. You won't start with me. I say you won't start with me. I said, you won't start with me. The Lord is my light, my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Shall I be afraid? The Lord is my light, salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? I will wait on you. I will wait on you. I will trust. Who 
shall I be afraid? I will wait on you. We said. 
We set our hope on your love. We set our hope on the one who is the everlasting God. You are the everlasting God. All over this building, we set our hopes on you. We set our hopes on you. We set our hope on your love. We set our hope on the one who is the everlasting God. You are the everlasting God. You are, you are the everlasting God. You are the everlasting God. worship him. Come on, lift those hands, lift those voices, lift those hearts to the Lord today. As we worship him in spirit and in truth, we have the confidence that he hears our cry, he hears our prayers. We have the confidence if he did it before, he'll do it again. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. We will remain in faith. We will remain persuaded, fully persuaded. We will remain confident that God is a good God, and that he's the one that shines upon us, he's the one uh, that reigns upon us, he's the one uh, that keeps us and saves us, he's the one uh, that provides for us and cares for us, he's the one. So Lord God, we thank you today. We worship you today in spirit and in truth. We worship you today and we lift you up where you belong. We lift you up high where you belong today. We marvel in your presence. We worship you today, God. You're a wonder in our eyes, a wonder in our sight. Oh, God, we thank you for your strong hand and your righteous arm delivering us and bringing justice to us today. We thank you today, Lord God, for in you we live and move and we have being, we have purpose, we have designed. We thank you for who you are in our life. We will remain with you. We will dwell in your presence. And we will dwell in your truth. Thank you today. Thank you. Thank you, praise team. You may be seated if you like. Remain in the spirit. Remain in the spirit. Let's soak this in. Let's soak it in. Let's, let's soak it in. We will remain 
with you. We will remain. Come on, say that to your God and your King, your Lord. I, I will remain with you. I'm, I will remain. You know, sometimes experiences and situations, circumstances in our life, it gets us in a place where we don't know if we still believe God like we once did. But God has a word for you in these songs. And he's speaking to us. And he wants you to be confident today. And somebody today, you've been struggling in your confidence and in your hope in Christ. Amen. And uh, I just need you to stand with me today. Because sometimes I struggle. Do you struggle like I struggle? Just stand with me today. Let's just pray for each other today. That we remain strong through it all. Talk to your God. Just talk to him. Help us, God. Help us, Lord, to remain with you. Save us anew and afresh. Breathe on us, God, anew. And Hallelujah. Through it all, I learned to trust in Jesus. I learned to trust in God. Andre Kraut's song comes to my mind. I don't know if you know it or not, but through it all, I learned to trust in Jesus. I learned to trust in him. Through it all. Those that have a good voice. Through it all. I've learned to trust in Jesus. I learned to trust in God. Through it all. Yeah, we're going to go through it. We're going to go through it and we're going to be all right. I learned to depend upon his word. One more time. Through it all, all over the room. Through it all. Through it all. I've learned. Yeah. I have this confidence and assurance. It's not by my might or my power or my ability. My faith is in him alone to do it through me. I learned, I learned to depend upon his word. You may be seated. God bless you. Thank you, Lord, for seeing our faith today. Lord God, we want to remain. And so, Lord God, we just declare today we will not backslide. We will not go back. The cross is before us. The world is behind us. We're moving on with you. Somebody say, I'm moving on with Jesus today. I'm moving on with the Lord. Hallelujah. At this time, we have body ministry. For those of you that don't know what that is, uh, here in this house, we believe that God is always speaking. And so for those who are the ministers of the house already know the protocol, what did you hear and what did you see or what did you sense? Now, God gave that for you. You keep it between you and the Lord. But if it's something to share with us, the body of Christ, we need you to come to the lectern and uh, share that with us. While our ministers of the house get in position, I'll give you what the Lord showed me in this time. The Lord gave me three things. That I am with you and that I am for you. One more one. Number one, I am with you and I am for you. Number two, God says, I need them to know that they have to follow my way. And I said, Lord, your ways, my ways are higher than your ways and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts, said the Lord. If you want to be successful, if you want a good plan for your life, he says, you have to follow my ways. And I looked it up. It says, um, man, my phone. It says a mode of life. It says a track or a course of life. God is saying that I have a course and a track for your life, and I need for you to follow that. If you follow your way, you're going to have some, some issues. But God says, my way. Yes. My ways. I Last make a, one. Make a declaration. On Declarations. Father, in Jesus' name, I decree and declare of your people today. Yeah that they will recognize your way for their life, God. 
Father, we ask that we not turn to the left or to the right, but we will follow your direction and your path for our life. God, we decree right now your way over us, your way over our finances, your way over our health, your way over our walk, your way over our talk today, God. We decree and declare your way over our life, God, in Jesus' name. And number three, the Bible says that hope deferred makes the heart sick. Some of you, I, I, I feel it, some of you have lost your hope today. And you are dealing with a sick heart. But God says that my hope is for you. There are talking heads out there in the world that's coming against ministers who preach hope, Apostle. They're saying that we're peddlers of hope. That we're just feeding people a bunch of lies. But they don't believe in the Lord like we do. So we believe and we have our hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. The same God that did it back then is the same God, same God. that'll do it right now. So we have our hope in you, O oh God. So I decree and declare over you that you will get your hope back in the ability of the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you have a sick heart, I ask that the medicine, the balm of Gilead, to be rubbed over that sick heart, that your heart may be healed again, and that it will be strong again, and that your confidence will be in the Lord Jesus Christ once again, in the mighty matchless name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Uh, by the blood and the uh, words of our testimony. Blood and lamb and the words of our testimony. Um, I'm not going to go in full detail, but my uh, place of residence kind of been this, that, this, that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, long story short, I was told I needed to move. <laughs> Two weeks later, which would have been a couple of days ago, uh, someone reached out to me after I told him what happened. I'm quote unquote moving, but where I'm moving, <laughs> they paying for the U-Haul. I need my car towed because I got an envoy that needs to be repaired. They're paying for the car to be get towed to my place of residence was told today if I need to keep it, just let them know they extended the day for the U-Haul. And basically, I'm gonna, come, I'm gonna come from you from 1 Chronicles 4 and 10, and Jabez called the God of Israel saying, oh, that thou would, would bless me indeed and enlarge my coast, and thy hand will be with me, and thou would, wouldest keep, keepeth me from evil, that it might not grieve me. And God granted him which he requested. And that's something I kind of pray every day but the Lord is faithful beyond me, always have been. You could be in the fire. Let me tell y'all, it's a fourth man in there with y'all. Life uh, situations could be chasing you all like that, whoop, whoop, whoop. The Lord would pack, part the Red Sea and turn all of it into fish food. I'm not lying to you, the Lord is with us, amen? amen. Forever and always, amen. amen. Be confident in him and everything that we uh, praise and worship, uh, uh, praise today that we went over today is with us forever and always. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. What I heard when they were singing that song, uh, My Hope is on You, I heard the Lord say, Keep hope alive. So many of us that have uh, sometimes we, we stop hoping. It just seems like the things are not going to happen that the Lord is seeing that's going to happen. So, you know, we lay hope aside. But he said, keep hope alive. He said, remember Abraham. When Abraham was waiting on a son, believing God for a son for so many years, and it seemed like it wasn't going to happen, Abraham kept hoping. He hoped against hope. So he is saying, keep hoping. Hope against hope. Keep hope alive. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise 
Praise the Lord. As we were singing about our hope being in God, I heard five. It says, "No, with all assurance that God never fails, His good promises to you will come to pass." Hallelujah. For the last week, um, or actually a couple of months, there's a song that's been on my heart, but um, we heard it today in the car, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to sing this today. And it goes, it's an old song, probably from the same album he just came from today. All the way, I'm going all the way, no matter what tomorrow brings. All the way, I'm going all the way so don't even try to turn me around oh yes i'm going all the way i've got to go all the way and the verse is satan is busy trying to block my path but i'm going all the way he's throwing rocks and hiding his hands but i'm going all the way so you may stone me and turn your back on me but i'm going all the way because god's got his arms wrapped all around me i'm going all the way hear me when i say all the way i'm going all the way no matter what tomorrow brings all the way i'm going all the way so don't even try amen hallelujah all the way with the lord hallelujah 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 I was about 4.30 this morning, the Lord gave me prepare. So I was trying to figure out, Lord, what you mean prepare? So he said, prepare to the end. So I thought about that, I said, we save people, we prepare ourselves to the end because we want to make it in. We don't want to be lost, we want to make it in. And the Lord gave me uh, the scripture 1 Corinthians 3 and 6, where it talks about uh, one plant, one water, God brings increase. So if we're preparing ourselves, we have to reach out to others and help them get prepared also. So we have to continue to plant seeds in our families' lives, especially our families. They, the, our families are the hardest ones, amen? That look like it's the hardest ones. They try to remember old, old stuff before you got saved. And just, you know, they just ain't right. But God is healing their hearts. I believe God's healing their hearts, though. So we have to prepare other people to help them get into the kingdom, to snatch them out the fire. We got to tell them about Jesus, how Jesus saved us and delivered us and set us free, and how he could do it for them also. So that's what God gave me, prepare the way to the end, and so we got to help others get there also. Good morning, everyone. My name is William. Um, my home church is Christ Community. Um, and uh, I'm a youth minister there. But I just had a quick word. Um, as they were singing and prophesizing, um, they were saying, well, I shall live and not die. So I just felt, I just, from the Holy Spirit, I heard them say that we have been given this voice activation, this great power to speak over our circumstances and to speak that death shall take a long vacation. Whatever we going through, we all have been through tough times, the trials and tribulations, and I hear the God, God just saying, um, let's speak unto it. We've given the power, why can't we use it? So let's use it. This is the power of the tongue. So we shall activate anything, any trial and tribulation that comes in our lives, we shall speak over it. I shall live and not die. I am prosperous. I have faith. But with faith also comes work. So, Lord, right now I want to speak over us. Um, thank you for giving us this great power of voice activation so we can speak over our circumstances, Heavenly Father. Right now we speak and say we shall live and not die. We are prosperous in the name of Jesus. 
Father God, we plead the blood of Jesus over ourselves, over our vehicles, over our steering wheels, Father God, over the, the roofs of our house, Father God, and we say that we, sh we are protected. We speak the, the protection over us, Father God. We plead the blood of Jesus in Jesus' name, and we thank you for giving us this great power, and we shall continue to use it. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's ironical that Apostle James would say, Andre Crouch, I was just sitting there and I heard, <clears throat> take me back, take me back, dear Lord, to the place where I first receive you. Take me back. Take me back, dear Lord, where I first believed. I feel I'm so far from you, Lord, but still I hear you calling me. Those simple things I once knew, their memories keep drawing me. Take me back. Take me back, dear Lord, to the place where I first received you. Come on, Jesus, take me back. Take me back, dear Lord, where I first believed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Good morning, everyone. So in particular, when Apostle James was just kind of bringing the iteration as to why we're doing that, confirming we will live and not die, really exhorting us, I really just heard um, Psalms 24 out of that, verse 7. So wake up, you living gateways. Lift up your heads, you doorways of eternity. Welcome the King of glory, for he is about to come through you. And I think that sometimes we can traditionally feel like, you know, maybe we're going down, you know, our heads are bowed down and we need to look up, but really we need to look in. Our head needs to be lifted up for the right expectation but the right expectation is he's ready to come through you. And I just heard the Lord say he wants to come through you in Jesus' name, through you in power, through you in might. Sometimes deliverance happens through you, in you, from him. And so that we have to have that right expectation and not have limitations on him coming through you because it could be easy for us to expect Apostle James and Prophetess Leona to be the messengers and for how Christ will come through. But he's ready and wanting to come through you. And then I felt like he added perspective about her positioning, Prophetess Leona's positioning in the heavenly realms right now is no different from outside of our sentiment of loss. It's no different from Enoch or Moses or even Jesus who have gone before us. And I come against the strategy that the enemy would try to have our faith be weakened because what happened to her? Is it going to happen to me if I battle the same type of things? We have to understand that in the kingdom, when people go before us, the foundation they laid in us is still true. And we don't have to doubt that foundation. It's alive in us. It's part of her legacy right now. When we honor the word that's been put in us and we do that word and allow Christ to come through, we're honoring that legacy. But she's gone before us now as a witness. She's in that heavenly realm as a witness saying, you know what? I'm waiting on you. You don't have to rush. Make sure you finish your race. Let Christ come through you. But where she is is real in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes, Glory yes. to God. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. 
our son in ministry there. Stand up again. This is Apostle Hunter, and uh, he come to uh, provide his grace in our presence today. So glad. Uh, where are you at now? Uh, South Bend, Indiana. South Bend, Indiana. Yeah, we have to talk because some things have happened. Amen. Been knowing him a long time, and uh, so we're so glad that you're here. Um, that's it's just a mighty blessing. I just want to let you know that. Amen. Are you ready for the word today? Somebody say, I'm ready for the word. Let me tell you something that uh, in the kids zone is, is available now. Thank you so much. Uh, we're so uh, glad that you are all here. Um, and we have some special guests and we'll uh, certainly give you a chance to share who you are and uh, who invited you and all those good things. But uh, to God be the glory for what he has done. L listen to me, y'all all looking at me? Uh, we, we made it. <laughs> Somebody say, I made it. Woo! This week, this week, this week, right? Some of you say, oh, this week was some kind of week, right? For some of you. But we made it. We're here. That's the goodness of God. This is what we're singing about. And this is what we've been uh, declaring here today. Um, the goodness of God uh, also is... Um, uh, in, in, uh, includes uh, the callings and the assignments that God has given us in life. And so we've had the privilege of this house to uh, house ministers, uh, those of the fivefold ministry, according to Ephesians uh, 4 and such like. And so it's important that you and I understand that there's neither male nor female in Christ. And uh, we just thank God for that. We thank God for those who have been obedient to the call and have accepted that call. This woman that we're going to have minister to us is my, uh, my beloved uh, sister-in-law. And uh, she is a genuine prophet or prophetess in the body of Christ. And uh, that calling has been resting and mantling on her for many, many years. And uh, what she says is true. She is a fasting woman. She is a praying woman. And we're just honored to have her come and grace us with the word of God. Amen. In the form of uh, uh, Prophetess Mary Jean Barnes as she comes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. towards her as we pray for her. We love you, Father, and we thank you for uh, what you do and how you do it. We thank you for the word that's in her and the grace that's upon her. And we certainly uh, open up our hearts and our soul, our minds, our very being to receive the word of God. It won't return back void. Accomplish what it pleases and prosper in the thing whereto you sent it in Jesus' name. Amen. God really bless you. God bless you all. Praise ye the Lord. It wasn't easy for me to come here today. I love, love, love so hard. I love these people in this church. I love my pastor. I love my family. I just love everybody. When I tell you I love you, I love you. If I had all the money in my purse, I wouldn't have a dime leaving out because I always try to give. But as I was sitting at my job, I just want to get this out of the way. I thank God for my apostle, James Glenn, uh, a chief apostle, a man of God that loves God more than anything. I thank God for my family, my grandson that was before me here that got up and gave a word. I remember when he was nine years old, 
he got up in the pulpit at uh, the New Christ Community Church and said, uh, I see three blood clogs in uh, Evangelist Demona Reed's leg. And she went to the doctor the next day they were there. She, he can see inside your body. He's so anointed. And God has blessed him. My nephew over here, love that boy. Just love him. I love all y'all. Y'all my family. I have one of my friends here. Is it Alma? Alma? Stand up, Alma. <laughs> I just met her. I was ministering to her. I just called her this morning, told her I was ministering. Uh, a lot of people on vacation and stuff. I have a lot of people I've been ministering to. People have been going through a lot. But as I was at my job, I heard the Lord say, change. I said, hmm. And I, I had to embrace that. I said, Lord, what, what are you talking about? He said, listen to me, daughter, change. Then he told me, it's time for a change. As I was sitting there, I just want to pray first. I just want to hear what the Lord is speaking. And there's so much going on. And I just have to keep my focus. I've been saved a long time, since I was 19 years old. Uh, really earlier than that, but when I just truly, God, just turned my life around. Most gracious and heavenly Father, I thank you today for another opportunity to say yes to your will and yes to your way. I will obey. Because of the shed blood on Calvary, there is remission for our sins. And Lord, I thank you right now for honoring everyone that came out to Center of Attraction today. This is a 911 center. You come in one way and you go out delivered and set free. And if you keep coming on, God will completely, hallelujah, annihilate every demonic attack of the enemy that tries to attack you in your family bloodline. But you got to be faithful. You got to be committed. You got to know who God truly is. And Father God, we honor you today. Hallelujah. For this 911 center. I thank you for the foundation of this church when it started. I thank you. Hallelujah. How you brought them a mighty long way. You can look at people and really don't know when you look at their face what they're really going through. But it's what's on the inside that counts. And Father God, we thank you today that you will do a new thing in each and every one of us. That you will build us up and make us whole. And we love you and we praise you and honor you in the matchless and mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. All power and all authority is yours in Jesus' name. I want to ask you a question today. Are you sick and tired of going through the same old thing? I don't hear you. Isn't it a mighty funny wind that blows when a, a person never tries to change? You can see yourself and think that you're all that in a bag of chips and you might not even be there. It's not good to think more highly of yourself than you ought to. It is time for a change. And I'm pulling this word out, change. The Hebrew means she know. Means a change. Sometimes it takes a long time for a change to appear. And sometimes change takes place in an instant. Who doesn't want to change? The, the original meaning of the word change means transform. And in the dictionary, change, the act or instance of making or becoming different. There was somebody that wrote a song that says, Oh God, what a wonderful change has come over me. But I want to let you know there's a process of the change. And it's in Ephesians 4. 22 to 24, to put off the old self, which belongs to your former way of life, and is corrupt 
through deceitful desires and to be renewed in the spirit of your mind and to put on the new self created after the likeness of God in righteousness and holiness. God wants you to get rid of this outer man. He wants you to come to another place that you've never been before. Don't even look at yourself how you're all made up. you got beautiful hair and, and makeup and suits and shoes. Oh, yeah, that's good. It's good to present yourself. Hallelujah. Presentable. But there's another part of that old man that God wants to renew in you today. God wants to change you from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. God wants to do a new thing in you. The songwriter wrote, I shall do a new thing in you. Uh, that whatever you ask for, uh, whatever you hope for, uh, whatever you pray for, uh, he said, I will do for you, said the Lord. Jesus said, you got to change. And what is he talking about? You need to turn to God. Stop turning to your people. Stop turning to your little friend that's giving you the wrong information. They're speaking things into your spirit. And before you know, you're not saying no, you're saying yes. And you're doing the same things that they're doing. Don't you know that evil communication corrupts good matter? You got to watch the circle of people that you're hanging around. Because people think you're doing the same thing. Change the way you think. And change, it will change the way you act. Get your mind out of the gutter. Every time you see something, you got your mind in the gutter. Oh, should I do this? Should I do that? That looks good. Look, the enemy is trying to trick you. The enemy is trying to deceive you. The enemy is trying to take you out of your character. The enemy does not want you to stand up and be a man or woman of God. God wants you to raise your family, hallelujah, as on to the Lord. He does not want you to get caught up in this world. He said, be in the world, but not of the world. It is time to clean up your house, straighten up your house, become a new creature in Christ. He said, old things are passed away, and behold, all things become new. Don't you know your children are watching you? Don't you know your children know what you do better than anybody else? You can't fake it till you make it when you're in the household. Because the kingdom of heaven is here right now. What does Jesus say about the change? I beseech ye, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you will present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the Lord, which is your reasonable servant. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. God wants your mind to be healed. Then it touches your heart. God wants you to walk in new authority. You cannot walk as a double-minded saint, doing one thing with the Christian, and when you get on your job, you act another way. God wants you to change all the way. God wants a metamorphosis in your life. God wants you to build yourself up. He that wins souls is wise. God said many people will not enter into the church. They will see us. They want to come and be saved, delivered, and set free. But when you're running with them and you're not doing the right thing, it causes harm to the kingdom. Get your house in order. Because time is running out. He wants us to change. He wants us to obey him. Will you obey him today? Will you think? Will you hear, react, walk, and change? God wants a divine change for you. Years ago, people will see your experience and know that what they've never seen before. Change is necessary for your growth. It increases your progress and development. You don't want to look the same as you did 15, 20 years ago. We're at a whole nother point right now. 
where you need to, I'm older now. What about you? Hallelujah. You got to come out of the old man and come into the new man, the new, the new anointing. God wants you to trust him. God wants you to believe him. God wants you to stand fast in the liberty wherewith he sets you free. And he does not want you again to be entangled with the yoke of bondage or the spirit of fear. Come from among them. I know some of you just love people and you just want to be around them all the time, but there's a season where there's going to be a breaking away and God is going to show you who people really are and they've been affecting your character and that's why you've had character defects. He wants you to gear up so see, people will see the experience that they've never seen before. Change is necessary for your growth. Change is necessary for your mind. God wants to heal your mind. God wants to heal your emotions. God wants to heal your direction. Hallelujah. The songwriter wrote, he's the compass for my way. Where is your compass today? It's in another place. God wants you to come from among them and be separate, said the Lord. He said, I will wash you whiter than snow. I'll create in you a clean heart. I'll renew the right spirit within you. Lord, don't take your spirit away from me, but withhold us with thy free spirit. Are you giving to the Lord the way you should? Are you spending more on yourself than giving to the church? If you promise to make a certain uh, sacrifice, you need to give that. Don't say one thing and then don't do it. This is a journey of progression. It takes some time. Change is not easy. When we see ourselves changing, sometimes we just don't look right. We just don't feel right. But you must change in order to be able to make it to where we're getting ready to go. We don't know the day, the time, or the hour that Jesus is coming back for the church. He's coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle. Will you be ready when he comes? He doesn't want you to be religiously defective. He wants you to have a whole new heart, creating us a clean heart. He doesn't want you just to talk jargon and to talk the worldly things and to be around people to pretend like you hip and that you're there and when you're really not there, you don't even know what they're talking about. Do not live beneath your privilege. Too many of us are living beneath our privilege. You have the monies to do the thing that you need to do and you're not using it wisely. If you have a home, you need to fix your home up and you need to move into your home. Why pay rent when you have a house? That's the spirit of error. Say what you mean and mean what you say. God is doing a shifting right now. He's shifting you to a whole nother place. Don't you feel the wind blowing? Don't you feel the wind of opportunity getting your house in order? And watch yourself dating. You need to know who you're dating. You need, my mother used to say, you need to know the mother and the father and where they were. That does count. That has a lot to do with it. It's the same thing now as it was then. You need to know, hallelujah, even on your job, what you're releasing. If there's information that should not be released, keep your mouth shut. Some of us talk too much. It's time for us to change. You cannot tell everything that you know. Everybody's business is nobody's business. There's no natural plan. We want the new. We want the supernatural life. So we can let go of the old and come into the new. Change us, oh God, so we can be like you. I want to be like Jesus, like him. I want to walk like Jesus, like him. I want to be, I want to be like him. 
Stop trying to be the friends to your children and be the adult that God called you to do and give them the right instructions. You're giving them so much, all they want is give me, give me, give me. But if anything happened to you, they won't give you a red dime. Ask God to change you. Ask God to renew your strength. Ask God to build you up and make you whole again. You don't want to be a half man or a half woman. God wants you to get your mind in order. God wants you to fast and pray. And most of all, you need to pray. You need direction. Some of us have stopped praying. We don't pray anymore. We only pray when they ask you to come up and pray a short prayer. And you wonder what's going on in your household. Be very careful who you entertain in this season. God wants to change your spirit. God does not want you to have a familiar spirit where you're doing everything under the sun. Change center of attraction. Change prophetess Mary. Change visitors. Change the world, oh God. Use us for your glory. Use us for your honor. Use us for your praise. We're getting a bad rap in the news. We're getting a bad rap everywhere you go. You know they're not saved. They're just acting. They say one thing and do another. The Lord said, is the change in you? Has God given you a change? Has God uh, created in you a clean heart and renewed the right spirit within you? Is God turning things around for you now? Trust the Lord. Believe God. My sisters go on, going on, going on. How you about Bertha has gone on. Many people have gone on, but we got to change in order so we'll meet them. But if our flesh is messed up and we're doing everything under the sun, it's not coming through them, it's coming through God. It's time for us to get right, church. And let's go home. It's no longer church is normal. The pandemic is over. It's time to be real. Come out of your flesh and get into the spirit. This is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Are you glad to be in the number today? Glad to be in the number one more time? Tomorrow is not promised. We don't, well, I shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. That sounds so good. But when you die, where are you going? Leaving ain't bad if you got some place to go. God, 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 God. Don't worry about what people say about you. Everything is written in the Lamb's book of life. The change must begin in us. And when we come in, we'll see the church change. We'll see people coming in that want to be saved. They don't want us to be double-minded. God doesn't want us to be double-minded. He wants us to be God-minded. It's time to get right. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's give a hand for that word this morning. Amen. And so if you need to come out from among them, or if you ever went back to them after you came out, and if you're not sure that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, this is an opportunity for you to give your life to the Lord. Amen. For those who are seated here and those who are online, just repeat after me, and for those of you who are already saved, I need y'all to pray with them so they can have an opportunity to be, uh, to be saved and come into the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so repeat after me, Lord Jesus, according to your word, I need you. You said that if I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart that God has raised him from the dead, I will be saved. For with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation, and with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness. 
And so if you confess that today, we believe that you are on your way to being saved. Hallelujah. Or you're saved because you confessed it. Please find you a Bible believing church. Find some place where people will love on you and disciple you. If you need to start reading, read the book of John, the gospel of John. And uh, that'll get you started on your way. And so we just thank them. Just give everybody a hand. Give them a hand for those who are online and those who are here. The information is on the screen if you want to sow into this ministry and be a part of this grace. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. So we got Q&A. So here in this place of worship, we have Q&A. That means...